Hi, my name is Vikash Shah and in this video I'm going to describe some tips and tricks for you to optimise images before you upload them to Radiopedia. And all of these tips and tricks also apply to Osiris. So let's start off with an ultrasound study. So I'm going to open this ultrasound study. And on ultrasound and nuclear medicine studies, you'll find patient demographic information often embedded or burnt onto the images. And that must be removed before you upload the images to Radiopedia. So I've already redacted the demographic information, which is usually found here at the top of the image. But I'm going to show you the technique that I use to be able to remove this information down here on the right. So click on this arrow here, which brings you the ROI menu and select the rectangle ROI. That's the most one that's most appropriate for this set of uh, information here. So we're going to drag the ROI um, over this region and you can see that it brings up the ROI box with this thick green line. Now we don't want that green line to be visible on the images. So what we do is go to ROI in the drop down in the menu bar and select ROI info. Here you can change the color. So I'm going to change it to black so that it blends in with the background of the uh, images and change the thickness to zero and now you can see that we can't actually see the ROI at all. We want to make sure that that's applied to all of the images in the series so we'll, again we go to ROI and select propagate selected ROI and it's already got the entire series selected by default so all you do is click OK and then we want to actually remove all the information from inside the ROI so again you go to ROI in the menu bar go to set pixel values to and again we don't need to do anything because the value is already set to zero so we don't need to change anything and we just click OK and what happens is everything inside the ROI um, is changed to black. Click anywhere outside the ROI now it's deselected and then when you scroll through the images you'll see that um, all of the images have that information redacted. Another technique you can use um, allows you to effectively crop the images. So what we do this time is again select the ROI and choose the part of the image that you want to keep. So if I want to keep this part, what I'll do is drag my ROI, ROI like that and then I click the shutter button. And what that does is remove all the information outside of the ROI box and that's applied to all of the images. So that's quite a useful way of getting rid of a lot of unnecessary information from your images. Now, as these images stand, they're very small, so they don't really make best use of the uh, screen real estate. So what we should do is bring them to the center and zoom them up. And you can see that the green dotted line indicates your um, screen area and we can make them bigger. And now we're going to export these images. So what we do is go to File, Export and Export to DICOM files. Here you can either choose to export the current image or all of the images. So we're going to select all and call it ultrasound and then we click OK. And it's created a brand new series here with all of the images zoomed up. A couple of other trip, tips and tricks for CT. Often when we get images off the CT scanners, because of how thin the slices are, you often have hundreds of images. So this axial stack has 213 images. And what that um, does is off makes um, some of these studies in Radiopedia quite slow to load. And it's not really necessary to have so many images. So you can reduce the number of slices by going to export and going to DICOM files. Here again we select all images. Now there's a couple of options here. One is you can actually re get rid of some of the top slices from your study or some of the bottom slices by moving the slider on the from and to sections. And you can reduce the number of slices by just increasing the image interval. So if I increase it to two, then reduce the number of images to 106. So if I call that axial and click OK, it creates again a brand new series um, with 107 images. Again, to prepare the images, what we can do is zoom them up. Um, another little trick is you can change the actual frame like this just by bringing the sides in and that makes the um, image slightly more cropped and you can um, export that as well. 
Another um, thing just to bear in mind is that you can't change the windows in Radiopedia itself. So make sure that your windows are optimized um, for how you want to present the images before you upload the images to Radiopedia. Okay, I hope that's been helpful. Thank you very much.